Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at Ubuntu Touch on the OnePlus 6T. Keep in mind though that this version of Ubuntu Touch is not quite ready for daily use, but I thought it'd still be interesting to try it out and check out what works and what doesn't work. So let's take a look. If you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, Peertube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LibraPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below. Alright, so here we have the OnePlus 6T. And one interesting thing you'll notice about the display is that because this is a curved infinity edge type of uh, screen, if you look at the corners, it doesn't quite fit properly. But otherwise, the display looks very beautiful. I've never seen Ubuntu Touch look this good. And of course, that's thanks to the OnePlus's um, OLED screen. One kind of a weird thing is that normally when you close an app, you have to um, lick your finger up. But in here, uh, in this OS, for some reason, you have to really lick it or almost tap it really fast up for apps to close but it's so it's quite fidgety but um you know it could be annoying at times if you rotate the phone um it does have support for auto rotate and uh, here you can take a closer look at the beautiful display here and you can of course you can notice the notch on the oneplus 6t there i don't think there's a way to disable that or get the notch not to show now, as you can see here, I'm actually trying to put the phone on standby mode, but it actually doesn't work. So pretty much if you have the phone powered on, you won't be able to just, you know, tap the power button and uh, turn off the screen. It'll actually stay on unless you manually uh, try to power off the device. So just one thing to keep in mind. As for watching videos, it doesn't have GPU acceleration. Um, I think the team over at Ubuntu Touch is still working on getting that enabled for all devices. And so the hardware on the OnePlus 6T is not able to take advantage and, you know, give us some, some really good performance. The sound on this video is uh, smooth, but the video itself is uh, pretty choppy if you put it at 1080p. I think it's even a little bit choppy if you put it at 720p. Here in the open store, you'll notice the smoothness of the device. Uh, I've never seen Ubuntu Touch this smooth here. Sliding over the list of apps here and uh, you know, sliding the homepage up and down, you can really notice uh, the smoothness here. It does pick up the phone's GPS. So if I turn on the GPS and ask it to find my location, you'll see that uh, it'll find it, me in the United States and it's pretty accurate it actually showed right at where i live so that's pretty cool that that's already working when i first uh, booted up oneplus 6t and i opened the camera i noticed it wasn't working so i kind of assumed that wasn't working but suddenly when i tried the camera again it was actually working and the quality is a uh, very good i think it's not as good as the android version of oneplus 6t so it might just be uh something on the software side if I flip the screen to the the face camera, that actually works. So that's pretty cool. Even recording works, although sometimes it's not consistent and there's no way to turn it off. Like you, if you press the pause button, it won't pause. It'll just keep playing. And so I actually had to close the app and then load uh, and go to the gallery and then just kind of hope that it actually recorded something. As you can see here, looking at my galleries uh, the one thing i noticed too is that it rotates the images sideways for some reason but the playback on the video is actually pretty decent let me zoom in on my face there i did try testing calling and texting and i'm able to receive text messages and i'm able to receive phone calls but i'm unable to send messages as you can see here if i hit enter it kind of just disappears and even though i can receive calls I couldn't hear anything on my end and I couldn't hear uh, anything on the other person's uh, end there. One thing I should note that porting to especially mainstream Android phones is very difficult 
And there's a lot of different uh, devices that a lot of people in the community have been working on porting over. If you go to the new Ubuntu Touch devices list, you can get an idea of the overall progress and like how close they are to getting everything to work on all these individual phones. And um, specifically for this uh, port of the OnePlus 6T, looks like Caleb is the one that's mostly been contributing to the work here to porting it over. So I wanted to give a shout out and, you know, I'll leave links to their websites in the description below. As you can see, not everything is in good working order here, but that's just the nature of porting to these mainstream Android phones. These phones are all very different and they all have their own firmware. A lot of it is closed source, so it makes it harder to port uh, Ubuntu Touch over to the devices. So like I said, um, you can always check out the people or developers that are working on each individual ports. So go ahead and, you know, follow them and give them some support and let me know what you think. Do you see yourself getting a mainstream Android phone with the hopes of getting Ubuntu Touch installed? Or would you rather stick with phones like the Librem 5 or the Pine phone? Let me know your thoughts. And uh, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. <coughs>